So I started this project by first uh, cutting out the ribbons which I need to attach to the baby so that I can tie it onto the baby and it's two inches wide and the total length turned out to be something around 50 inches. I ended up using one of those nifty bias step makers. It's not really required, you can just manually fold the edges over. One of the things that I don't have is a steam iron which explains why I am using a spray bottle filled with water. If you do have a steam iron by all means use it. Okay, so now it's time to cut my uh, ribbon into size. So here's what I need. I need two ribbons which are approximately 14 and a half inches long. I merely divided the remaining piece into two which made them approximately 11 inches in length. And one last thing that I got to do before I make the rest of the babies to ensure that the ends are hemmed over so that they don't fray. In case you're wondering, that bowl that I'm using that has a diameter of about four and a half inches and the rest of the curves, I'm basically eyeballing it. Tell you what though, uh, cutting through the four layers of fabric and trying to keep it aligned and oriented was a little fiddly, kept shifting on me, but in the end it's okay I guess. Before you start stitching though, you got to arrange the fabric stack properly. Uh, here I have the first two layers of cotton that will form the core. Uh, the brown fabric then comes next, it's the backing fabric and finally the hero side, the fabric that will go on top, that's the Egyptian cotton. And of course, 
you have to attach a few ribbons to this once you're done and it really helps if you mark them out before you start stitching. Of course, placing the ribbons while I was stitching this thing turned out to be a little fiddly. Uh, the reason being not only do I have to place it at the correct position, uh, but also I need to orient it properly. Uh, that and the fact that while I'm stitching this thing, I'm actually stitching this thing inside out. So the ribbons need to be pointed inwards. So when I again turn it right side out, uh, the ribbons will hang outside like it's supposed to. Other than placing the ribbons themselves, it was basically straight stitching so I could gun it all the way. But in hindsight, I realized some of the curves that I drew were a little too tight for me. If you would have noticed me stitching on the previous clip, I did not stitch it all the way through, I left a gap and that is very essential because that gap is what you will use uh, to turn this entire fabric stack right side out. I finished off the project by doing a final uh, round of top stitching. And of course, last but not the least, I cannot have a kids wear uh, which is plain white. So I just had to do some designs in the front. Make all the jokes you want about the banana. My daughter loves bananas. That's why I, I painted that. Uh, I really like this design. Uh, it was suggested by my wife actually. Uh, generally the ones that you find, the bibs that you uh, find on the market, they only have the strap around the neck. What happens is as the baby keeps playing and fidgeting, uh, it will revolve around the neck and it won't do its job. Uh, so what we did here is uh, we have two straps. Uh, this one is supposed to go behind the back and you have to tie them in a crisscross fashion and that way you ensure that uh, the baby cannot uh, move this. Okay, so that being said, thank you so much for joining me in this very short uh, weekend project. Um, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.